everybody. We were just talking about What's falling. What's up, everybody? From high distances. Oh, the, the Riddler has arrived. Oh, another meat prompt. Dang. Mm. Or Jason. Oh. Oh, this might be too masturbatory. Wow. <laughs> Wait. He really wants you to have your own plot line. Yeah. What's up, Riddler? Or Jason. And okay. his birthday is today. You forgot to add that. Oh, yeah. It's my birthday. Oh, yeah. It's Jason's birthday. So <laughs> good timing, Riddler. Yeah. I am 32. Friendly and fun-loving star of the Hitcho AP. Okay. Okay. We'll do it. This might not wow, be too guy, long of Is this guy reading our diaries, Jim? <laughs> oh, my God. I got to... <laughs> hold on. I got to disable my Facebook profile. I uh, know. This sounds like stuff we would actually do, especially you, Jim. <laughs> What? Jim is all about the spite move. Hey, Misha. Hey, Misha. Jason's life in a nutshell. I guess. Oh, yeah, that is something. Uh, Jason, Jason actually has quite a rich life outside of this game, guys. The hit show AIPD. <laughs> Hello. 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 Jason is now an adult. It finally, finally happened, guys. Yeah. The big 2-1. Don't drink 21 shots, bro. I'm gonna drink 32 shots. Mm. Why? <laughs> you feel like a 32? Yeah, yeah, exactly. The even better. The show is about you making comedic stories with the help of an AI. Uh huh. Your friends, Tony and Jim, enjoy being your co hosts, but they want to start earning their own fame. Yes. Tony decides to create a show called AIPD2, the better oh, edition. Oh, okay. Jim finds out about this and in response, oh, wow, he creates a show like called AIPD3, oh, the even better uh, edition. Birthday. Greater than you create AIPD3, the even better edition you spend many hours creating uh -huh. the show. Yes. It's not quite as funny or entertaining as the other two shows, but it's uh, well. still pretty good. Yeah. By well, the end like of the week, you're proud of what you've created. Yeah. Wow, says Tony. I can't believe we got away with that. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like something Tony would say. Yeah. Uh, I agree. I didn't start the show to be better than the other two shows. I started to spite them. Oh, okay. Well, that's why it's not quite show. as funny or entertaining. Jim doesn't pander in any way. He's yeah. like, he he follows his muse, his bliss, so to speak. <laughs> uh, also, we were a party boy last, last, uh, last episode. And uh, it was the saddest party boy ever. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, nobody liked us. Well, nobody really likes a party boy, if you think about it. Misha's yeah. going to be 20. Party uh, girls yeah. do. Well, What's the drinking age uh, in... Uh, he's in, You're in England, right? Yeah. That's 18, right? London. I think so. It's 18? Maybe It might be even 16. Mm -hmm. I know in France, it's sort of like whatever. Yeah. Yeah, same in Japan. Uh, they have just um, beer 18. vending okay. machines on the street. All right. Here, Tony's I got, got a response. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah, what exactly did Tony get away with? Yeah, exactly. I can't believe it. <laughs> AIPD you... Officer Fudge. Okay. So. Officer Fudge has entered the story. Wasn't that from another story? Officer Fudge? I don't know. Mm. Officer sounds familiar. Fudge doesn't. Well, that book Fudge by Judy Bloom. But Jason, you've also done like three 12 hour shows, right? Uh, two. I'm doing another one on 4th of July. So. You hire an enforcer oh, to scare Biz. Tony and Jim into oh, shutting no. down their shows. <laughs> you make a mask of your face and tell the enforcer to wear it. He does so without hesitation. You then get rid of the rest of the cast members who have no idea why they're no longer working on the show. The next wow, day, Jason, you go to work, ruthless. hoping that everything will be back to normal soon. Well, get ready. I'm getting my comeuppance here because of Biz. Yeah, so what do we have here? We have a re redeemed name of uh, AIPD Officer Fudge. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and gained... then cheer up blubber butt. Two, two blubber butts. So 1,200 so pounds. So yeah. 1,200 pounds. Okay. Okay. And Tony, what is an enforcer? You know, like a uh, a roust about someone that puts some, you know, like uh, rough up. Though they, he's being sent a to rough, rough up, up. And, you know, like hey, uh, 
I think it's a bad idea you do you doing your own live stream. So we're like, what do you mean? And then he and he says, uh, you got a broken uh, mm. uh, ring light. They're like, no, it's not broken. Then he hits it with his billy club. Like oh, I said, it's broken. So you must have went to Brooklyn, judging yeah, by the yeah. That's well, that's where Jason that. all Jason got is he was watching The Sopranos, so he went there and got it. That's where all the rough uppings come from. Yeah, that's a good uh, point. Who's getting fatter? I would love to see a 1,200-pound gym. I just, oh, you know, interesting. I don't know. I was thinking that the uh, AIPD would get fat. Just all of us individually spread it out. Oh, I'd say spread it out. Is that legal? Because uh, what if you pro... I think Jim, it's have like you the ever, current have you ever been? Oh, yeah. So. Jim, have you ever been overweight in your life? Yes, this is the most overweight I've ever been. Whoa. Well, I mean, noticeably, you're still pretty thin. I mean, look at how thin your ears look. <laughs> but noticeably in the shower, I look overweight to me. Mm, interesting. Because I think when I was like 29, I went hiking in Japan for like uh, a couple weeks and I lost yeah. a lot of weight doing that. Mm -hmm. And I think like my normal natural weight is like 120. And what's your weight right now if you're comfortable saying that? Probably like 160. Really? Me, AIPD's mm -hmm. Officer Fudge. Wow. Officer Fudge hears it's your birthday and delivers a hot tub full of fudge. You eat it all and gain 1,200 pounds overnight. The next morning, you wake up to find yourself at 1,000 pounds. Hey. You feel great and think you deserve to be happy. <laughs> oh, we already lost 200? A few days later, you decide to call it quits. Shit. Yeah. You say goodbye to everyone and head home. Bed's just oh, filled no. with 200 pounds of diarrhea. Wait, is this a suicide thing? What's oh, wait, going what? on? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, you just what? Quits. Okay. Oh, you got it? Oh, I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> uh, we were probably just fell asleep in the hot tub. Yeah, well... You know... <laughs> We're like, ooh, <laughs> one day old hot tub fudge. I have to finish <laughs> off the rest. Lick it off the jets. <laughs> Gross. As long as you're not 1,200, yeah. Yeah. And we gained 1,200, so on top of my 290, we, we 1,490. So the computer doesn't respond to that. It's just like reaffirming. Yeah, it's just like in its memory. Okay. I don't know how it will come into play, but we are morbidly obese. And technically, so is that like, I am morbidly is, obese. Is that like programming in a callback? Huh? So Tony like, and Jim yeah, are concerned kinda. and stage an intervention at a local Fuddruckers. You grow furious and roll back and forth over Tony and Jim until they are unconscious. Oh boy. <laughs> you take them outside where you beat them to death. No! no! You shout. They were ruining my life. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tony so and Jim. Wow. Uh, I did not think. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, wow. Wow, yeah, yeah dude. I don't know what to say to that. Yeah. What can I do? I got, oh God. I got this. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> that's an evil. Uh, that's an evil laugh. <laughs> Jason, you've changed. Yeah. <laughs> Twelve hundred pounds has changed you. I like how he says, "Oh, sorry," and then as soon as we're dead, he's like, <laughs> "Yeah," he's like, "Wow." <laughs> Friendships literally killed. <laughs> <laughs> is this what your friendship is like off stream? That's kind of what Jim and my friendship is like. Jason's cool with everybody. He's the same. Yeah. Actually, we're all the same. Yeah, I think so. I'm combative. Jim is kind of like, he's got it all figured out. And no, no, like, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. I'm very uh, disagreeable. Yeah. You're a troll. You're a natural troll. I don't mean that. Yeah. But you told me, like, back in the day, you used to love trolling people, like, on Facebook and stuff. 
No, like, not you really. Decide not to let That's what you said. Perfectly delicious dead bodies go to waste and eat them. <laughs> oh my god. After eating them, you start to hear Jim and Tony's voices in your head. You're back, uh, baby. They beg for mercy, but you ignore them. We beg for mercy? <laughs> mm -hmm. The voices. The voices. They're like, please let us out your fat, disgusting, morbid, obese body. Yeah. You'd have to breathe in really hard to hide 200 pounds. Uh, yeah. You would need the world's like strongest belt, and it would just yeah. be like constantly like a dam about to break. And then if it snapped, it would kill anybody in a, a ten foot radius. You are friends off stream, Misha. You'd be shocked to know this, but we are friends IRL. Yeah, that's where we met in the real world. Uh huh. But we haven't seen each other in months. Yeah, that's true. Well, I've seen Jason in passing, like from a distance. Oh yeah, same here. I dropped off stuff at your house. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Kombucha. How's right, the kombucha guys. game going? It's good. Yeah, I got some new good? equipment. I got some new equipment and I'm ordering uh like artwork for cans and then I've got a new canner. Oh and uh, I'll have to order some cans. So it's going. You just All said right, the word cans a lot. Cans. It's it's cans. mostly cans. Yeah. So here we go. All right. <laughs> Whoa. Uh... <laughs> Jim goes into your memories inside your mind. He starts making out with your ex-girlfriend. She was beautiful and perfect, but she had a personality. That's when you finally snap. <laughs> Fuck you. You scream. <laughs> you fucking asshole. You throw him off the balcony. He falls Whoa. several stories before hitting his head on the pavement below. Whoa. Your rage subsides after killing Jim and Tony. Uh, again? Wow. I like land on my head so I get your ghost out of oh my body. Oh my god. Also, you're like, yeah. She's like, I don't want to hear about your your opinions on politics. Wow. And your yeah. funny <laughs> your funny lines. I'm an angry <laughs> fat bastard that this yeah, came yeah. right now. Uh. Wow. Jim's no longer allowed in Tony's neighborhood because he doesn't look like he belongs there. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> well, police are suspicious I... of someone that only shows off the top half of their face. That's how Jim travels through life. He has a little blocker. Yeah. I tapped the bottom half of my windows on my car. Actually, you were pulled over in my neighborhood, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I think he, yeah. he told that last night. Maybe. Oh, you did that story about... Oh, uh... yeah, I did talk about that last night. Yeah. yeah, the cop says, you don't look like you live around here. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I was just like, shooting my shot. Yeah, mean? Huntington Woods, uh, and I had a friend, an African-American friend that was pulled over when I was recording a podcast at my house. She got pulled over because she passed my house and turned around, uh, which apparently is a big crime in Huntington Woods. Yeah. yeah. So Probably the same cop. Yeah. Okay, so, Jason, did you, like, go into your own mind and throw me off the balcony when I, I was ma so. making out with your I girlfriend? I think so. That's what I thought. It was like Herman's head kind of thing. You're inside yeah, your yeah, mind yeah. fighting me. That's true. Besh did get a ticket at my house for parking. And the enforcer came up and said, your tail light's out. And Josh was like, or Besh was like, no, it isn't. And then he broke it. He's like, yep, see, there it is. <laughs> Jim and Tony turn <laughs> wow. into the demons from Ghost and pull you down to hell. A year passes. Uh -oh. It's been five years since you killed Jim and Tony. You <laughs> haven't <laughs> eaten anyone else since then. You don't care anymore. You just want to live forever. The demons from the... The movie with Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore, that ghost? Yeah. You don't remember those? Uh, oh, the, yeah. You the know what I don't remember about that. When the glass fell, fell through him, that shit, that was burned into my mind. Yeah. The movie Ghost? Yeah. I has one only year, remember this sex scene. A year passes. It's been five years. I guess when you're morbidly that morbidly obese, one year is like five years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of like breathing. Your, your you blood is do. traveling all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I got it. I got it. You're moving it. a lot okay. slower. Like, you know how when you're in a plane, you're like kind of time traveling? Well, it's the opposite is, when you're a fan. Jim's automated bot account. This story represents Jim perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Jim is like probably the closest I've met to just cold logic. Yeah. Apologize to Tony. Well, to be fair, I brought on the first killing myself. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry I ate your dead Wait, bodies. You, and do you have a gym or no? Yeah, 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 I got it. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to. Uh... 
You could uh, be the world's fattest Highlander. Yeah, let's be. Let's go for that and <laughs> live forever. There can only be one ton. I ate the power. Or what's Highlander thing? There could only be one Highlander. Yeah. What would happen if you guys would beat each other? Funny story. No, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It was a wild well, but, but then, years now. Yeah, but this would be. Does a mind whoopee count as a whoopee? A mind whoopee? No, I don't think so. If we, especially if we know it's in our mind. Yeah. It was all in your mind. Yeah. It's like the Wizard of Oz, but with sex. Yeah. Sex dreams. Yeah. That's kind of like a form of masturbation. Okay, Wizard of Oz question. Would you rather uh, Whoopi with Dorothy or Glenda, the Good Witch of the East? Oh. Or the West. Well, uh, yeah, oh. East. Good oh, Witch of the the East. pink. North? I don't know. Yeah. You go to see your doctor for a checkup. He tells you that you are aging at a decreased rate proportional to your weight. Proportional. He tells you, if you want to live forever, you must gain more weight. Oh, no. How? Uh. You ask. Well, I suggest you put on some weight. Your doctor leaves your office and heads towards the cafeteria. Well, that's a non-answer. When he gets there, he this sees the waitress advice. putting food in her mouth. She looks at him and smiles. What he turns around happened? and walks away. Wow. What is this? Well, this is, uh, I'm guessing we're on a high deductible insurance plan. Yeah. Yes, and you're, we have to pay for our insurance here. And our the wait, computer just... The waitress is on the web. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. You must gain more weight. How? Well, I suggest you put on some weight. That'll be eight hundred dollars. Does this doctor have a web MD? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. This wow, is the like, waitress but... is putting here. Wow. He turns around and walks away. Well, that's the one smart thing. He's like, I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. Well, he went to the most dangerous place, the cafeteria. He told us to gain weight, and we've already eaten two people. What makes him think that we're not going to eat this guy too? Oh, are we like looking at our new victims here? Yeah. We're looking at what people are eating and we're like, they probably taste pretty tasty. It's going to turn into that movie with the talking plant where you just got to keep hey, feeding bird. it. Feed yeah. me. Uh, Little Shop of Horrors? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Little Shop of Horribly Obese Fat Guys. Yeah. <laughs> There's only one, but it's enough. Oh. Oh, you go Lee. to the local Skateboard aquarium and eat a porpoise to make your weight proportional. proportional. You then look at the bar uh, and me. begin drinking. <laughs> you get drinking? Oh, oh okay. Mm. You gotta work up some courage. Yeah, yeah that's a lot of... Uh, I mean, you gotta drink those calories. You can gain weight doing that. I hope getting the switch made isn't genetic. Probably not. We gotta go hard with this. You eat the bartender and everyone at the bar. Finally, you drink Free yourself me. to death. Oh, Ooh. okay. Oh. Uh, it was the drinking that killed us. Yeah. <laughs> Get 20 daiquiris. Never well, did. maybe we did, Besh. Maybe we did. Yeah. <laughs> And it's just all like melting at our fat body. They don't even know we're dead. They're like, man, that fat guy drinks. And yeah. then they go, oh, oh my God, he's dead. <laughs> he's starting to really smell. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. want to say anything. He died of brain I have to freeze. admit, I have to admit, I like naming all the characters Tony, Jason, and Jim. Yeah, it makes it really <laughs> easy for us. It does. <laughs> Jason killed his friends and drank himself to death. Great birthday. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Just a mean green mother from outer space, and I'm bad, and I'm fired. Isn't the song suddenly Seymour? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's start a new character. Uh, anybody got anything? Anybody chat got prompts? Or Tony or Jim? I always have a prompt if needed. Get it, get it. Off the top of my head. Okay, I'll start writing. I'll name and then we can get some situations. Yeah. Yeah, get it. Get, get it. it. Go get it, Tony. <laughs> you go get it. Did you do an mm. online birthday party? Uh, no. I don't normally celebrate no my birthday anyway, so. Ham Yoji, uh, photographer. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's not your fault, Riddler. But thank you, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's we kind of steered the story in that direction once we realized. Jason, that's I'll have Kamiochi that. be the, the nemesis, uh, Biz. Ah, I like that. Pam Yoji, that's a good name. Pam Yoji. A photographer nemesis, that means like paparazzi or something. Oh. Uh, or like uh, trying to blackmail us. Mm -hmm. kind of Peeping like, Tom. Yep. Or the, like that, we're like the host from that cheater show. What was that movie you Robin Williams was in? Professional One hour photo. You are yeah, kind to everyone, crazy. which yeah, often means you get taken advantage of. Oh, Gareth. Stand up for yourself, oh, Gareth. Nice. <laughs> a true white knight. I think this pa uh, Pam Yoji has uh, been stealing our, photo our photos and just slapping her name on Yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> My worst nemesis, the press. Wow, six roommates. I I had five roommates at one point in time, but and it's a lot. It's uh, I call it a harem, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> you player. I have never even heard of that. But I also started to watch the uh, Megalo Boxer, and uh, I I started watching Mob Psycho One Hundred. Yeah. Yeah. It's good, yeah. Yeah. It's like a young One Punch Man. Yes. But it's much darker. Mm hmm. And it keeps you on your toes for more uh, of the episodes. You yeah. don't really know what's going to happen. Uh, I was always jealous of insane. the photographer. There was a photographer character in Initial D. Or was it Juan Gone Midnight? He drove a Ferrari Testarossa. Mm -hmm. he, was, he used to race people for fun. Uh -huh. Obscure masterpiece. All right. You're speaking my language. So this person is you guys, stealing. Guys, what are we doing? Let's play Fortnite. Let's be real. Yeah. All right. Let me slip away. <laughs> you no are more in the wilderness, AIPD. trying to Wait, snap the first picture Fortnite? of the elusive rustic <laughs> woodfinch. When you spot Pam Yoji, your greatest rival. She is following you to get the photo herself. Greater than you oh. try to stop her, you turn around and run as fast as you can towards the trees, but she catches up with you before you reach them. Okay. The two of you tumble down a hill and into a small ravine. Oh. I'm sorry, she says. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Hmm. This sounds like a meat cute in a romantic comedy. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Pokemons are that. Those are the characters in Fortnite, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then when you pick one, you pick a chew. You cry and say, "You've been stealing my shots for years." She looks at you and smiles. It's not that bad. She runs off again. Well, that's your opinion. You're not the one yeah. getting your life's work stolen. Hmm. Yeah, Chaser. Oh, okay. Take a blurry photo and then call her a cryptid and start a blog for people trying to find her. You chase Pam Yoji. After several oh, hours of chasing her, you finally <laughs> catch up with hours. her. Several hours? She has already left. Medium foot. Yoji! <laughs> <laughs> You, Pam Yoji. What does that mean? You catch up with her? She was already left? So, do we find like her old campsite and we can feel the coals? They're still a yeah, little bit yeah. hot. We're close, but. So, we're tracking her. Yeah. So you, got you got it, Jason? No, go for it. Okay. Do some. And then we chase her into like a tree port and she's got like a sexy bed all set up. Do school photo shoot. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, this is what I really wanted to steal. 
like a photo of my butt in the woods. That's mm. like all You track Cam is. into the Rust Mountains, for which the elusive rustic woodfinch is named. It is an extremely yeah. steep climb up a yeah. mountain pass. You have no idea how you will ever make it back home. Well, Guys, my... you know what I love? Is um, Google Lens. I've yeah. started using that to, to the, for birds in the backyard. Yeah. It'll tell me like what kind of finch it is or oh, like what kind of bird it is. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, it's good. Sex enemy. Sex enemy. <laughs> the enemy will be. I thought that was a hate fuck. Yeah, or a frucker. Frucker? I haven't heard that one. Friend. Friend fucker? Friend ucker. Yeah. Is that a real thing? I don't know. I was just saying. Oh, okay. Seems like it. Gugasir. I like Geocaster. I like oh, Geocaster. That's like friend. <laughs> Friends with benefits. Yeah. What kind of sex movie is a Geoguesser? Ah. I think it's the one where you got the, the butt is in the air. Mm -hmm. Oh, face down, mm -hmm. ass up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever heard of the, I'm the flying just kidding, Dutchman? Bash. That's the sex move. What? Flying Dutchman, the sex move. Yeah. Have you ever heard of the Angry Dragon? Yeah. 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 Have you ever done it? Or the Angry Dolphin? Oh, I don't know that one. You That's see Cam running into a pool. cabin. Do you you bust in and she has a come fire on. going. Oh, Pam offers you to stay the night. A blizzard is about oh. to come. You decline because you oh. don't want to be what? cold. Oh my God! We we have no game. No, we are our own worst cocklucks. I know. Let's see. But wait, if we don't come inside, we'll be super cold. <laughs> yeah, I exactly. know. It's, we'll uh, be in the blizzard. I feel like a hatred of the pan will keep us warm. Maybe it's a bluff where it's like just trying to get her to feel bad. Like, listen, I I, didn't have, I don't know why I chased you all the way up here, but this is your fault. Yeah, she invites us in after we chased her. But we were angry at her. So. <laughs> Ever heard of the angry walrus? Uh, I'm sure it's some sort of sexual position or something. You change your mm -hmm. mind and take up Sounds Pam's familiar. offer, but only on the condition you sleep naked together to maximize body heat. <laughs> Greater than you continue. The next day, yeah, you, you both do. wake up early to go on another hike. What? This time, you both decide to wear clothes so you won't freeze to death. Oh, okay. It works, but you still feel like you're walking Word. through ice flows. Hmm. Eventually, you reach a clearing. There is a lake here, surrounded by mountains. A huge pine tree stands nearby. You suck. Yeah, what is this guy doing? Yeah. Gareth. I feel like we're being completely dominated. She steals our pictures and then we just spend the night with her. Yeah, we, we gotta learn how to not be a pushover. Yeah. You suck. <laughs> Notice a weird human-shaped hole in the mountainside. Uh, okay, very Looney Tunes. Yeah. I am the Eggman. Yeah. yeah, that is a weird Beatles song. Because <laughs> it doesn't exist. It's I am the Walrus. Oh, oh yeah. Cuckoo, cuckoo. You that's see a rare I, snow owl perched on the branch of the pine tree. Pam pushes you over onto the snow, then takes out her camera and take photos of the snow owl. Greater than you continue. You stand there admiring the oh, snowy scene. Good. Then, you hear Pam scream from inside her cabin. You uh, rush outside and find her covered in blood. Her head is cut open and she has been stabbed repeatedly. Oh, she doesn't yeah. look very much alive anymore. Wow. What happened, you ask? <laughs> That's not what I wrote. Bye, Pam. Wow. Wow. Uh, do we next this? I'm very curious wow. as to what the AI thinks happened. Sure. The yeah. AI did not understand the context of any of what I said. <laughs> yeah, it was like, yeah, you take the snow owl picture, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but don't, Pam, yeah. You continue. Well, yeah. Greater than you continue. What you go back owl? inside oh. and help her up. Get some towels, you tell her. Oh she gets dressed and heads back inside, where you sit beside her. 
get, she's all messed up and we're like, get some towels. Yeah. <laughs> she's dead though. I called it. Oh, I. Is she dead? Oh, I might have uh, tracked her that head too is early. Split open. Yeah, that's her right. Her head I, is cut open. I, I, I'll take it yeah. back. I'm taking it back. She she's doesn't dead. look very much. Oh, we can subtract it. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. It was the wedding photographer. I was yeah. just thinking, if you if you had like an AI dog, would you want it to do everything perfectly all the time, or would you want it to fuck up every once in a while? No, I want it to fuck up. That's what makes it fun. So you'd have to program that in. Maybe, or you could just program variants into it. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's Tally. I like to think maybe it was that rare snow owl. <laughs> we took a photo of it and we somehow got what we wanted secretly. <laughs> We're like, we want Pam to die! And then the snow owl was like, I will make that happen. Oh, it's no owl of death. Its claws are all bloody. Yeah. I didn't realize we told her to get the towels. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's what's so funny. Towels. You're making a Tally. mess in your own cabin. I would love an AI dog. But you like, ask her who did this to her. Oh, the shit. lovely rustic woodfinch. She uh -oh. cries. Apparently, he's in a relationship with the snow owl, who really values his privacy. Oh. Oh, you start to say, then you realize what she just said. You had a crush on her too. And now, she oh. was dead. How could you kill Whoa. me? Oh. I thought we were friends. No, I didn't do it on purpose. Yeah. He's just jealous. We're all jealous sometimes. Who's talking? Wow. It, what? What? And now no, so was... I think we're we're denying it. First of all, yeah. Wait, wait, wait what are we denying? Well, let's the see. The crush. The crush. That, on no. Her. Well, we had a crush on her, but we didn't kill her. Yeah. Oh, her head is cut open. Just means like scratches and stuff from a bird. Yeah, I think. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is this an American oh Werewolf in London thing with the dead talking to you? Oh, it could be. I think oh, that's a good... maybe. Yeah, that's good. So or maybe it's Tally. Now we have to have, listen to her. She's definitely dead. I'm putting it back on the board. Yeah, for sure. It says. Yeah. And now she was dead. Okay. But I do like the idea that we're just talking to our dead, dead friend of me. Yeah. But we did have a crush on her, and she's a little warm still. <laughs> I do. Uh. Oh, that's up to you, Tony. If you want to type that, you can go ahead and take my idea. No problem. <laughs> okay, you got it, Jim. Yep. Well, well, well. <laughs> I'll let the AI decide. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Are you just going to next? Or you could just leave nope. it trailing. Yeah. Uh oh. Just check to see. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I feel like you don't have to do it to know if you like it. That's you true. You check to see if you are a necrophiliac. Well, I mean, internally. Well, maybe you should just leave him alone. Why? What do you mean? Because <sighs> I love you. I know you think I am a monster, but I wouldn't harm you. But why? Why would you do something like this? Because I love you. I always have, since the moment oh. I laid eyes on you. Wholesome. <laughs> wholesome. Okay. Uh, but the, I'm stuck in wholesome prison. Yeah. <laughs> if you get questioned, can you just blame the owl? Will they just handcuff it? Yeah, I wonder how that does work out. Like, when it's actually secretly an animal. Like, how many people are, like, sitting innocently in jail for, like... Oh, you definitely killed your. Uh, I think wife. it depends on how many animals are in the jury. Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah if you're an all woodfins jury, good luck. Because you'd like to think that all police everywhere know what a bear attack looks like, but somebody might be like, "That's a bunch of knives. He made like <laughs> five knives and he taped it to his hand." Guilty. Killed his wife. Burn yeah, him! Burn him! And then you see in the the woods a bear scuttle off with knives on his fingers. Uh, 
no. <laughs> mm. Oh, okay. No. Uh, at least we got our bird friends. The woodfinch speaks to you from the windowsill. I saw everything, and I'll testify, he tells you. When I met oh. you, I knew I wanted you. And you never oh. told me that before? Of course not, but I felt it then. When you kissed me, it was like a new lease on life. I felt happy. That's why I came back here today. So, oh. you lied to me? Yes. So we Is have a history the... with this wood finch. Yeah. Oh, okay, I, I didn't know if it was a finch or the dead body that was still talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, this is the finch. Okay. I met you, I knew I wanted you. The work you'd have Never. to go through to fake a bear attack would be stupidly in-depth, yeah. You kissed the bird? I think so. I, I mean, uh, we just like birds. Can you blame them? Oh, wait, who's saying when you kissed me, I was like a new lease on life? Are we still uh, talking about plant, Pam? He's still like dead talking. No, to no, us. no. Is is the bird saying that, or are we saying that? Oh, oh. I think uh, his bird I, said I, that because yeah. it goes the bird and then you and then the bird. Oh, okay. Oh wait, and then you say that. I guess. I don't know. Okay, I got it. I got it. No label, so you say. Could be anybody. It could even be a new character. This is a very hot and heavy relationship with yeah. the bird. While we're sitting next to the dead body of our crush. A very strange episode crush. of something. Birdophiles. Yeah. Blood. Blood all over the place. Murderous birdophile. What do you call someone who loves feet? Because isn't the foot doctor a the pervert. podiatrist? A per yeah, I don't think there's a name. <laughs> no, foot kidding. fetishist. <laughs> A foot, yeah, foot fetishist. Push, foot V, foots, footers, header footers. Yeah. But it's not a pedophile, right? What? What? Right, oh, I get it. I get it. it. Yeah. That's true. It should be. I feel like that joke's been made. Uh, has it? Yeah. It has to have been. Podiatrist. And, oh my you know. God. Girls Is it out. like a podiophile? But. Is that it? Is that a foot lover? Pedophile. <laughs> oh. You realize this <laughs> is bird you gave mouth to mouth resuscitation to when he flew into a well, window I don't and the finch thought you were guys. into him. Awkward. Well, Awkward. I guess I better go. You walk away. 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 It's a I good think, remix. Yeah, I think Gareth is just high on weed. Yeah. He, <laughs> don't do weed even once. He had too you many weeds. Back. You walk 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 away. No. Oh, and then we walk away at the end. It gets us. Oh. <laughs> uh, These are great lyrics. Okay. But we walked farther away than we walked back, so... Or did yeah, you silence and then, it? And then we walked away a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're like half the way back. Yeah, I like how detail. Walk away the new single by AIPD. <laughs> you walk away, you walk away, you walk back. You walk back. <laughs> you walk back. Baby, walk back. I've seen that on YouTube now. There's channels where they have like uh, music by artificial intelligence. Yes. Uh, who was it? Uh, Riddler or Misha was talking about that the other day. They have like the AI finish a song. And oh, then, uh, it? And then they make ad revenue on it. Oh, they do? That's so sneaky. I mean, who's the copyright holder? Yeah, that's true. We got to figure out ways to make money that way. Sneak yeah. it. This might push it over the edge, but we'll see. It might just kill us, but... No. You see the police arrive at the cabin and run off into the woods. 
they see the dead body and hundreds of birds in the trees. Oh. You are now lost in okay. the woods and freezing to death. The oh sun boy. rises. You can barely move. Your hands are white as frost. You try <sighs> to call for help, but they aren't coming. You die. Oh, I thought that would yeah. happen. I uh, he set us up for it. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Okay. Uh... You box AI. You should do merch. Uh, I don't. Yeah. I don't know what we do. No, we don't want you. No, don't waste your money on our t-shirts. Yeah, yeah. You got the t-shirts. <laughs> yeah. If you want, just give us donate or tip. Tell your stepfathers to subscribe. That's, That's all really what we want. Only we want thing we have. Yeah. And can you gift subscriptions to other people? You can. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, do we want to keep going or uh, do we want to start something new? Uh, we can start you something new. Away. Go back. Okay. You it's walk uh, away. first one uh, with a triple in a while. Normally, yeah. we've, been, we've been doing these one character ones. Yeah. Bye bye, so, uh, Jimmy, you have an idea for a character? You walk back. Not really. Hmm. Oh, yeah? Uh, AI music How sites. There's like a, there's one called Wolfram Tones, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah, yeah. I use the Wolfram. Uh... You walk away shirts would be brilliantly confusing. That's true. That's a good <laughs> point. I would, I would buy a shirt that said "You walk away." Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think I got some character saves here. Let's... Okay, here we go. Uh, well, I mean, we can always use the one it gives us here. You were Max Powers, founder and CEO of Powers. Isn't that a Homer Britain? Simpson thing? Uh, I mean, it's yeah, something didn't he I came up with name? just an example. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, the, well, there was could... an episode of The Simpsons where he changed his name to Max Power, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, just because that's at the ready. You are Max Powers, founder and CEO of Powers Incorporated. Hmm. I wonder what we do. Uh -huh. mm. This is kind of an Elon Musky. I like uh, that it's a musky. Yeah. yeah, I like that too. It made me think of a fish and then it smells. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna change yeah. a little bit just because we just did a Elon Musk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Powers is also the name of an evil businessman in Batman Beyond. Oh, interesting. Which one is Batman Beyond? It's so a cartoon. One... Oh, okay. I believe it's Batman with. Uh, isn't it when he's an old man? Really? I think so. Well, I mean, like in his Ooh. 50s or 60s. Yeah. Hmm. Is he still doing the crime fighting yeah, thing? Yeah, it's, it's weird. And then he has a follower. and it, This is the one I'm thinking of. Well, it's a kid's show. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, it is. But it's more like graphic novel-y. Yeah. Bruce is like 80 at the Batman oh. Beyond. Yeah, I do remember that. He's like Your the... quest for power and money on Earth has yeah. led to its destruction. You pour all your wealth into an interdimensional portal program. Mm. You step in the beta portal and are in the world with talking dogs. Oh. It is there you meet a young girl who tells you she was sent from the future by your company. Whoa. She explains oh. that she is called Samantha Carter and that your project will lead to her own world being destroyed. Oh. You have two choices, continue with your plan or save Samantha. Oh. Oh. I know what I would do. Yeah, I know what you would do too, Jim. So yeah. let me take this one. Well, a pragmatist would say, continue with the bar plan. Yeah. But uh, I'm, a love I'm struck. A pragmatist. Huh? Yeah. Or someone who's just a. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's, <laughs> that's a good answer. <laughs> just, it's a spike save. Yeah, spite save. You don't even know this girl. You choose to save Samantha despite <laughs> yeah, your friend see, it's Jim. Working. Greater than it's you save working. Samantha the next day, you send Samantha <laughs> back through the portal. You get a message saying goodbye from her but nothing else. Uh, a few zones. days later, you receive another message saying hello. 
It seems that Samantha had gotten married and had a baby boy named Daniel Carter. Oh, so fresh. Her uh, husband also uh, died during childbirth. Oh, so her what? husband? What? <laughs> what? What a he wild was... ride. Her husband was... died during childbirth. <laughs> See, they, they had a water birth and he drowned in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> so single mother now i bet you yeah. are uh, desperate for somebody to maybe someone close to you maybe someone that saved your entire uh, universe i gotta say that's genius the husband yeah. died during childbirth that, yeah yeah the, this uh, ai is really setting it up for us it's well it's denying us and then setting us up and then killing the dad in the bathtub Oh, that's great. This is like Terminator, but with no robots. Uh, because of the time travel? <laughs> so Matthew now Carter both is a converge. character in Stargate. Oh. This is so Tony, ah. just get to know a girl for you like 13, 14 years. You start a business with Samantha years. training <laughs> talking dogs. <laughs> the future. Samantha Carter is now a successful businesswoman, oh. but still lives at home with her family. Oh. Mm. One day while at work, her, her son Daniel comes up to her and asks if he can play with his new dog tags. When Samantha tags. says no, Daniel insists and tries to take them off. Uh-oh. Take what off? He oh, I thought to... the dog's name was Tags. Oh, play with his new dog tags. But yeah, okay. We're in a world of talking dogs, so this is like a dog woman, I guess. Mm. And Daniel's a dog boy. And she probably remarried mm -hmm. her new family. Uh, I got it. I think I got it. Okay. The pregnancy Dan hormone through the, the roof. Yeah. <laughs> Because the way the, the computer said it, like, play with his dog, Tags, and I thought, oh, that's a cute dog name. Oh, yeah, the, the, the dog would be named Tags. Mm -hmm. So, despite losing her husband, she's still... A successful businesswoman while we sacrificed our very own company's future for this woman right yeah but we saved her world we stopped her world from being destroyed but i don't know but was it a world worth saving hmm. yeah, daniel me. takes off his dog tags and the is sent to the pound oh, well. samantha begs you to save her son from being put down Greater than you let Daniel live, you decide to let Daniel live after all. Okay. He learns how Life. to be a good pet owner and never does anything wrong again. Oh, mm. Wow. Wholesome. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, good for us. What did we say to poor Daniel? A world we where dogs are all for man. Yeah. Wholesome. Well. Tags. I've never had... Spend. I've never had someone like be genuine when they're. I'll let you live. Yeah. Yeah, you can live. <laughs> you were like, "What? You had my life in your hands?" Yeah. And you're not <laughs> enthusiastically saving it? No. I'll let you live. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Could have got a hamburger for lunch, but I guess I'll let you live instead. Well, they were gonna put her son down. Yeah. This is a cruel dog world. Dog eat Wait, dogs. Wait, is, is her son like half dog? Yeah, I think she's a dog too. I think. We're but he's a but he's a pet owner. Pets yeah. can have pets. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's he's, true. He's got like a little. Uh, what would a dog have? Dead bird tied to a string. Kill Daniel <laughs> later. We can always, yeah. We saved them. If you get, to, if you save someone's life, you get to take it away. That should be a new rule. Uh oh. Oh. A horde of cats appears through one of the interdimensional portals. They claw <laughs> Daniel's pet to death. Bring us the one they call Max Powers. They meow. Greater than you bring us the one they call Max Powers. Okay. You awesome. bring us Max Powers. 
You go through the portal and find yourself in a strange place. There are many people here, some friendly, and some hostile. <laughs> some look like humans, others look like animals. All yeah. of them speak English. Thanks. Oh my yeah. god, this, we landed in the USA. Yeah, sounds Crazy. right. <laughs> Invent a dog microwave? Like a microwave for dogs? Or a microwave or a thingy that microwave dog thing. Microwave sucks, yeah. Yeah, it does sound like a Yeah, I think so. Ah, oh, the animals speak English. Yeah. Uh, not just because it's convenient to the movie, but just because that, that's what happened. <laughs> this is the cat world, yeah. Can you imagine the casting nightmare trying to find someone? Or an animal that speaks a different language. Wait, what? <laughs> we're talking about a movie. Oh, uh, okay. If you were in a movie where animals spoke different <laughs> languages, yeah. Well, I guess. Yeah. Not like Tough to find. Animals all speak a standardized language. I think we can all agree on that. Yeah. You suspect you are it's on Earth. Pumping. You ask a man to wear a mask and he tells you to fuck off, oh. confirming you are indeed in America. Oh. You learn that the only way out of this place is to kill everyone and take their guns. Wow. Oh, you fight yeah, your way through the true. town until you reach the highway where a truck stops. As you approach, you see a small group of men standing around it. They seem to know something about what is going on and they don't want you here. You show them your max powers. Yeah. They agree to help you and tell you to follow them. That's all we needed to do. Wow, the violence is... Yeah, AI is violence obsessed right now. Yep. But we showed them we were max powers and they were like, God, I love max powers. And we're like, hell yeah. <laughs> the animals would have humans doing voiceovers, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't mean your max powers. I don't Show know. I was trying to do like a double entendre thing where it's like, oh, show them your yeah, max come powers on, Jim. and show them your They lead you into powers. the truck stop bathroom and point at the condom machine on the wall. <laughs> they say, this is what we use to transport our sperm. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Wowie, wowie. So who's talking to us right now? Is it animals or humans? Uh, uh, no, these are humans. We're back on Earth. Yeah. But there were talking animals everywhere. No, They're... no, we transported back, though, remember? Yeah. Oh, okay. We go through the portal. Okay. To escape the cats. I mean, I guess sperm is kind of like a weapon. It transports, yeah, I <laughs> guess. We've got a huge sperm smuggling ring. Or maybe we've stumbled onto an intergalactic sperm smuggling ring, guys. Yeah, exactly. Maybe it's like, uh, yeah. We just tell everyone our IQ is like 160 and we sell it to rich white women that want to have smart babies. Yeah. But little did they know, they're just having truck stop babies. Yeah. <laughs> From a dirty condom and a dirty oh. truck stop. You watch them fill a condom with sperm, then watch them throw the filled condom into the portal. Oh. Now, Max, they say, we'll take care of the rest. This show is very hard tonight. We'll take care of the rest. Uh, what? What does that mean? Also, what? What was your idea of having them just throw it through the portal? Oh, okay. There you go. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can't flush them. Yeah, that's bad for the pipes. Yeah, I'm sure. Another you ask them to explain better. what that means. Don't. Greater than you wait outside, you stay outside and wait for them to return. Eventually they do, but they leave without explaining anything. You wonder <laughs> why they didn't just answer your questions. Perhaps they were afraid of you? Later you try to contact Max Powers again, but you get no response. Whoa. You think maybe hey, he Max, is dead. What's going on you begin here? to oh. worry about your family. 
Oh, uh, now we're worried about our family. That's when you know it's serious. He's dead, but aren't we Max Powers? <laughs> yeah. You think maybe he's dead, but maybe we're like... Maybe we've disconnected all these portal traveling. It's kind of like splitting our... We're like, oh my god. Oh, I see. Yeah. Having an outer body experience, maybe. Okay. The AI can keep track of characters, yeah. I think and we, we gotta wait outside. We gotta wait outside so they finish filling the sperm receptacles. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. That we peek our head through the portal to see where all the sperm things uh, fell. <laughs> and it's on like a uh, alien mer baby's face. And it's just like, oh. yeah? <laughs> and we're like, Ugh, we should not have looked. <laughs> you think they just go to like random spots in the universe? It just <laughs> opens up and comes it's, out. It's like a intergalactic. Uh, dog bag of dog poop on the porch it's like uh i took a hot air balloon ride once and it was like as a kid and it was fun spitting off the side to try to hit people's pools and houses and stuff kind of oh. like that <laughs> will the real max powers please stand up yeah, a man please. appears from a portal i am trucky trojans condom baby he <laughs> tells you i am half human <laughs> half condom i will make sure you get a nice ride home Hell yeah. Uh, no thanks, Chucky. We'll take a portal. We don't need a ride. Yeah, no, I already called an Uber. It's okay. <laughs> gross, Misha. Uh, <laughs> so gross. Uh, by the way, I just found out today Coca-Cola was invented by a Confederate soldier. What? Yeah. Well, for a guy who fought for oh. the south you know well so. that's still bad yeah yeah oh but he was from the north but he fought for the south no no oh. <laughs> he's from atlanta atlanta <laughs> i already called him Uber. thanks yeah <laughs> i'm good he fought, he fought for, for coke, coke. <laughs> yeah it's my my cola heritage yeah you say nah i already called an uber thanks he laughs. No need to thank me. I'm not really here to give you a ride. He goes oh. over to the mirror and begins to change oh. himself. You watch him transform into a handsome man. He walks over to you and kisses you on the lips. Oh. You Whoa. kiss him back. Oh, okay. He leads right. you back to the truck stop. <laughs> right. What's happening here? Yeah, you We're know what's happening. We're about to have a safe, the safest whoopee we possibly could. Yeah. I mean, it is a little gross that he was a condom baby. <laughs> three seconds ago and now he's kissing us on the lips yeah. well it's well, interdimensional he, so he's lived a full life yeah and now he's a man he's a handsome man so. yeah 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 and you like really a test tube baby is still a test tube baby even if they grow up to be an adult what <laughs> yeah <I> guess. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what that uh, I don't know what yeah maybe by definition but I don't agree with that run away <laughs> let's see uh But it, we were like disgusted by this thing a couple Truck minutes ago, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, don't fool around with that gross baby thing. <laughs> it just shows us how shallow Sorry, we remember. are. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well. Oh no. Yeah. Toby's got the opposite idea. Mm-hmm. Lean into it, guys. You break into a truck and crawl into the back seat with Trucky. Trucky Trojanus drives away as you watch no him change into his trucker outfit. Yeah. You sit you in the back seat that. watching TV. Suddenly Trucky Trojanus pulls a gun on you. Whoa. What the hell are you it's... doing here? Whoa. I got lost and ended up here. How did you even get my phone number? Trucky is a psychopath. Whoa. A TV in the truck? Yeah. <laughs> that we were cool. Yeah. Trucky watches TV while he's driving. He's just like, yeah, I think it's like a semi uh, truck, right? Well, there's definitely a semi in here, if you know what I'm saying. Uh. <laughs> Even with the gun. Is he like a T1000, <laughs> but all milky and white? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, I like that they called it Trucky Trojanus. Pulls a gun on you. <laughs> yeah. Trojanus. Yeah. Or Trojanus. Trojanus. Traj anus. 
I feel like he's got dementia or something. Well, yeah. Gonna ask him the next to spare your life. Yeah, look, what, we've been having a very violent night. Let's just ask him, please don't kill us, Chucky. Yeah. Please, Chucky. Please. 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 We thought you loved us. Maybe it's something to do with his... What happened? What happened? What, what was that? What? Uh, what? I put in the prompt and it all turned red. Uh-oh. Oh, you might be disconnected again. Oh. I'll try what were you going to type, Jim? There it goes. Oh, there we go. Okay. Thought we were cool. Maybe, maybe it has something to do with their trucker outfit they put on. Yeah. It's you say, I thought we were cool. You kissed me and we spent the night together. Trucker Trojanus looks at you and smiles. Well, I guess it wasn't so bad. You scream. Trucky Trojanus shoots you in the head. No! God damn it. <laughs> Jim! Jim! Nine o'clock on the dot. Uh, Jim gets a shot in the head. Yeah, that's amazing. amazing. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. And oh, Bash cool redeemed. Uh, like this again. Bash redeemed. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be very awkward. Well, I don't know how it could get even more awkward than this. Getting shot by a, a condom baby, half man, half condom baby. All trucker. <laughs> yeah, he's all man. Oh, I gotta track those too. <laughs> the cool aid man bursts into the truck and says oh yeah and then looks at your dead body and says oh no and is shot in the head yep your corpse is taken by a black van to a dumpster behind the truck stop mm. your mother arrives there and finds your remains she oh screams oh my god oh my <laughs> god Christ! also why would the van take you to the dumpster it's like it's literally at a truck stop it's like 10 yards to the dumpster. <laughs> Have you ever killed the a bo dead body? Two dead bodies, 10 yards? Oh my god. I think Might it's well like a, truck. a trucker hearse. A black van. A truce. And our mom just <laughs> is randomly checking out dumpsters. Maybe it's yeah. like weeks yeah. later and the <laughs> the cops yeah. have finally been like, found your son. They tracked our cell phone. Yeah. I think that's a good way to that's a good way to place to end it as any. <laughs> yeah, that was a good that was a fun, fun story. Not wholesome. Not wholesome. Not all. wholesome. We need some wholesome. Yeah, this was a, there was a lot of viscera in all the stories tonight. It was real, uh, got rough. Yeah. Got bloody and rough. Uh, tomorrow we'll just have to try to go for that wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks, man. Yeah. Uh, good night, everybody. Hey. Yeah, happy birthday, Jason. Thank you. Oh, you know, the best birthday. birthday present, what Jason told me he wanted was stepfathers to subscribe yeah, and follow. Get, get those follows. Later, uh, Bash. And see you tomorrow at 8. Good night, everybody. Peace. Thank you.